It's in the box. Look at this trampoline. Guys, going to open it right away. Hi everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company and I'm going to show you this seven foot, my first trampoline that we found on Amazon. It was the best price and this is going to be a video on what it looks like, how it goes together and really so you guys can get an idea of what to expect if you want to get a trampoline for your kids and this might be a trampoline for you. It comes with all the parts, it's very high quality, I'll show you how it goes together, what it looks like when it's finished. And um, just as a reference, we have two kids, they're two and three, and that was my first question is, what size trampoline should I get? Is it gonna be, um, you know, built well? Is it gonna be strong enough for them? So I'll tell you that this one is, it's a great purchase. I would not get a five foot trampoline, I'd get the seven foot trampoline, but this is the one that we found. I'll put a link in the description for you guys, and I'll show you how it goes together. Right away, the instructions say to assemble the three or four legs that you have here. The uh, main thing is that you have these poles that go through the base and it has a little Allen key with these plastic caps that go on the bottom. It's pretty straightforward. All the parts are easy to identify. And when you put these plastic rails around, don't worry, everything has metal inside of it. It threads together well. And these are all meant to face a certain way. You can see the stamping on the outside is meant to face out. Um, it's one thing I noticed is that you see here this one's flipped the wrong way it just kind of looks off everything goes together a certain way and it's supposed to go um, facing a specific way and it's pretty obvious the next major step is when you start to actually put on these cross members to actually hold everything together and create the shape again these parts are easy to find and this is what it looks like when it's all assembled you have the bolt that goes through you have the rail that goes up and you start to put the padding on you can see these holes up there for later but this is what it's gonna look like when it's finished. You want them facing inward towards the arch and you're gonna put the nut on the inside and the screw head or the top of the bolt on the outside. It comes with all the tools that you need to assemble it and you're gonna have two washers and a lock ring or a lock washer for that underneath the nut and it goes on like this. Again, put the nuts on the inside facing the inner side of the trampoline there. Then all you have to do is assemble the other legs the same way. Once you have all three legs assembled, you can see I have them stacked up here, kind of ready to go. The next step is to find those long pieces in between. They identify them as number twos. And then you can kind of start to connect these together and form the shape. There's a little bit of a trick here when you go to put these inner ones between the leg uh, arms together. You're gonna feed one side in and then again, like kind of rotate the other one in. I'm doing it with one hand here, but obviously you do it with two hands so you don't pinch your skin. But they do pop in pretty easy, just a little trick. Obviously the other ones here kind of go together easy because you can just move the legs together, slide the pieces in. So far, everything fits great. And luckily the kids are patient because daddy's working as fast as he can, but they can't wait. You guys excited? Yes, we're building a trampoline. I want to jump today. You want to jump today? Yeah. What do you think, buddy? Really cool. Oh, yeah. You want to jump? Okay, we're almost done. <gasps> Let's keep going. Okay. So here comes the fun part. We actually start to put the trampoline on. And again, the diagram and the instructions are very easy to read and straightforward. But this is when it really starts to look like a trampoline. And I would definitely recommend following the pattern that they show here with the springs. They do it for a reason because if you were to not do it out of order, it would uh, become very hard to actually pull these springs into place. But the cool thing is, is that the trampoline surface itself has all these elastic bands around it so that when you're putting it on and kind of getting in place, everything fits. And with these springs here, you'll see one side is smaller and the other side is kind of open up more. The smaller side actually attaches on the inside of the trampoline and the larger opening hook fits into the metal part of the frame. They also give you a tool here and you're gonna need this. It goes in just as easy as this looks, but you just pull back on it and that larger part of the hook just slides right into the frame. And one thing that I did to kind of help and you're gonna do it probably a couple times is you might have to kind of push on the outside of the frame here to get some leverage. But once you get a couple of these on, all the rest of the springs really start to just fall into place. Now that everything is in place, all the springs are on, you can start tying down all these straps. 
They have plenty and plenty of these straps that go around that you can tie and secure the padding down. I like that again because we're thinking kid safety here. This padding and cover, it's made for kids and it's built well with plenty of straps to hold it. It's not going anywhere. You can see here, it kind of covers anything metal or sharp. There are no sharp edges really. Um, and then we have these poles up here, everything's covered in foam. And you'll see the next step, we'll actually start to put the rails on and the net. And I know this looks a little bit much, but bear with me. There's only three of these pieces that you're gonna have to do. And there's three really identifiable arches in the screen around the outside. So there's only three of them. And you're just gonna have to feed the arch through with the foam. And then there's an extension that goes up to actually raise it. And you'll see I started to put the net on around here. This is probably the thing that took the longest was figuring out how to put these into place. And then I put this one up first, realizing that I needed to get the net over. So I ended up taking these upper rails off so that I could feed the net over this last one. Assemble all of these and do not start putting these set screws in, these upper riser rails here. Do not put these set screws in until you get that outer net all the way around then start to build it up because it will not stretch enough to go up and over. So that's one thing I learned and I actually had to kind of work backwards for a minute and redo this one side. But once you have the net all the way around the outside and you start to build up the center pieces to raise the arches, you're just gonna kind of feed this down. And again, it does flex a little bit, but you just feed it down um, just like a pair of skinny jeans. You gotta kind of work it down and you'll just feed it all the way around and it makes it all the way to the bottom there. Um, you can easily raise it put those set screws in, connect all the pieces, and then we're good to go. Here we go. Obviously the kids love it. It works great for the two of them. They're two and three years old. I think this is gonna definitely be good for them for a couple years. They play on it every day. It's super strong and sturdy, worth every dollar. They have a blast every day in the morning. They look forward to going out and playing on it. And um, you know, it's a really good purchase for the kids to get that energy out. Again, I put a link down in the description here. You can actually buy this one on Amazon. Otherwise, if you haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next build.